Okay, I'm going to give you an example of how to complete the homework. So I'm in the presentation on our Google Classroom. I'm going to start by visiting the website with all the weather information on. So I'm just going to tap this website. There we go. And then I'm going to select a place. Now you've got to select one that's um, a contrast to the climate in this country. But for my example, I'm just going to pick Birmingham. Okay, so what I need is the monthly data for 2022 um, for temperature and precipitation or rainfall. So I'm going to start with temperature. Now, just for this example, I'm only doing three months. Obviously, you do the whole year, but I just want to show you how to do it. So I'm on temperature. Okay, and the year is at the bottom, so it says today, I don't want today, although it's not going to be very warm today in Birmingham, and I'm going to Birmingham today. Um, so if I click on today, click on the year, 2022, and then let's go for the, the first of the month in each of the cases. So tap the first of the month, or double tap the first of the month, and the temperature in January was 11 degrees C. So I've got my settings set on Celsius and millimetres for rainfall. I'm then going to go to February. I'm making a note of this date on a piece of paper. 1st of February is 8 degrees. And then the 1st of March was 4 degrees. So I'm now going to go for rainfall. So precipitation. Now I'm changing it, which is accumulation. I'm going for, if you'll let me, monthly anomaly, which means it will give us uh, the highest it was up to that point. So I'm going to do it slightly different. So I'm going to go back to January, if it'll let me. I think my pen's running out. All right, January, I'm going to go to the last of the month. Right, and you can see there, there was 16 millimetres was the highest in January. So now I'm going to go for February. Last day of the month, let's see. 42, wow. Had a bit of a rainy February. And then let's go for March. Last day of the month. Even. Did it update? No, it didn't. Right, six, we had a very mild March. So you do that for all of the months, collecting the rainfall and the temperature. <clears throat> Obviously, we can't get the monthly averages in this particular app, so um, use the first of the month or the last of the month, um, and if you're consistent with that, you'll be fine. So that's fine. So now I'm going to close that, because now I need to do my climate graph. So I'm going to open Safari. Remember, you must do it in Safari. And in Safari, in the URL at the top, I'm just going to type sheets.new. And then in my columns, in column A, in there, I'm going to write month. In the next one, I'm going to write, if I can spell, Average temp, which isn't quite true, but close. And then this one, average rain for, okay? Then I'm just gonna put the data in. So that's January, February, March. Obviously you would go all the way. And then temperatures. Let's go with temperatures first. That's 11, eight and four. Oh, don't forget with these, with average temperature, what we're talking about, if you let me type, thank you, is degrees C. So um, if you go to the virtual keyboard, show keyboard, go to the numbers, hold down zero, you'll see the degree sign comes up. So there you go. And then rainfall is in millimetres. So we must put the scale in, okay? 
I'm then going to just try and widen that. It's not happening, it's not letting me. Oh well, what I'll do is I'll click and hold on the top. I'm doing very well, am I? Cancel. If I click and hold on the top and then resize column, I'll just do it this way. So I'm going to make that 150. There you go, so we can see it better. I'm now going into the data for rainfall. So January was 16, February was 42, and March 6. Okay? So um, that is all the data in. Now I'm going to press just once, and then if my hand's steady enough, on the little handle, the little dot in the corner, I'm going to, which it isn't. <laughs> I'm trying to use a pen, but my hand's shaking. I'm old. There you go. Oh, I thought I had it then. I mean, this is awkward. You'll be old one day. Oh, I've deleted the word month as well. Let me try again. Tap off it, tap on it, grab the little dot there and drag across. I suppose you think this is funny. Come on. No, it really doesn't want to let me do it. With my four sausage fingers, you've got dainty little fingers, so you're all right. There we go, finally. Okay, so I've highlighted all the data. Now I want the insert chart icon. Now it's not there, so I have to go to more, the three dots. Have your pens running out? I think it is. Right, and then go to insert chart. And there you go. Now, obviously, it's putting us to bar charts. I don't want that. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the chart, the uh, chart type, to combination, which is this one here. So I select that. Okay. Now it's all looking wrong. Mine won't look great anyway because I've only done three months, but it's all wrong. The first thing that's wrong is rainfall is a line graph and um, temperature is a bar chart and I want it the other way around. So that you scroll down in the setup till it says series. So series is a collection of data and I want the first one to be rainfall. So if I just tap that and select rainfall, rainfall is now a bar chart and if I select where it said rainfall before and make that temperature, there you go. So that's looking a little bit better, okay? Now, I need to make it look like a, a climate graph. So I'm going to go to Customise. And when I'm in Customise, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a title. So Chart Title, and I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to call this Birmingham, because that's the area I'm studying. Don't forget to label it. I need to know uh, what area you're doing. Okay, so I've done that. Then we need to scroll down to where it says series. And we need to modify the settings. So if I go to series, it says apply to all series. Well, I don't want to apply to all the data, but I do want to select average rainfall. Okay, so um, average rainfall um, goes on the right so if i look down where it says format columns blah 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 axis and i want that on the right and then if i go back up i want temperature on the left and it's already on the left so so far it's not looking too bad we're getting there um now the only problem is my axes aren't aren't labelled. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to close series and go back to chart and axis titles 
And where it said chart title before, I'm going to go to vertical axis. Now, where it doesn't say, vert the default means the left. So on the left, we have got temperature. So I'm going to type average temp. And you can type degrees, see? Okay. And then I'm going to go to the right vertical axis. And I'm going to, there, I'm going to put rainfall. And again, you should, and I didn't on the other one, you should put mum. I think that's auto correction. Millimeters. Um okay, so there we are. So it's, now it's looking good. Now in um you don't want the line graph jerking around and being all little straight lines. You want a kind of smooth graph so it gives you the best fit. So I'm going to go to chart style and I'm gonna tick smooth. Now on mine, because I've only got three months, it doesn't make a massive difference. Okay, and basically, that's it. I've only got three months, but I've got the average temperature, January, look, you can see, 11 degrees, rainfall, about just under uh, 20 millimetres, okay? There you go. That's how you do it, eventually.